Hello class, in this online lecture, we are going to discuss about the foot action. So we will just have a short discussion on this topic and then you will have an activity. So a male runner has a landing touch with a heel ball. Okay, this is the heel ball actions, which is where the heel hits the ground first. So the weight is then transferred to the ball of the foot in a rocking chair fashion. So among female runners, the heel ball, this one, and the heel, uh, I mean ball heel ball, is about the same. In the ball heel ball, the runner initially settles on the ball of the foot, then momentarily transfers the body's weight to the heel, and then rolls forward again to the ball for the driving phase. So the heel ball landing tough is suited to be more efficient over long distance because there is a less strain put on the muscles of the calf. So we will consider the following steps for sprint. So already discussed about the sprint in which there is only a short distance and they will run as fast as they can. So we will consider the following steps for sprint. Number one master the sprint start next starting a sprint race is all about an explosion of speed and power you will do all your best to run as fast as you can because there's only a short um, distance on this uh, competition third you need to keep it under control fourth being relaxed helps your body run efficiently and quickly at any distance and lastly try to breathe gently and await the starters command okay so we need to focus we need to listen to the starters command and then we need to breathe gently so next there are three important um, steps here we have on your mark set and then go so we will discuss first on the on your mark Okay, so the strategy on this um, running contest. Crouch first is crouch on a knee. Okay, you need to observe the position of the knee and form a high bridge with your fingers. As you can also observe this one in the different contest. So the... Uh, next is your hand should be placed slightly wider than your shoulder width as you can observe the hands here and if you will feel cramp you are probably positioned too close to the start line so what you're going to do is you need to adjust your body backward next don't get distracted by anything or anybody you will just have focus on the track number five keeping your eyes focused on the ground ahead so that you it will help you to balance focus and relax next set next strategy that you are going to do to win this uh, competition raise your hips to a level just above your shoulder okay a level with your shoulder as you can observe in the picture your head should not be dropped towards the ground but don't crick your neck by trying to look up the track okay just um, looking on this part only Next, lean your body as far forward as you can and aim to begin running without stumbling. Okay, You have an adjustment with your body. And then lastly, wait for the starting signal. Lastly is go. When the gun goes off, breathe out and uh, pump those arms and legs as you can observe in the picture. Try not to travel too far with each stride to start with. Then trust your elbows. Okay. Your elbows. 
as high as possible with each backward swing and drive your legs with a high knee action okay high high knee action and then lastly keeping your body low in your opening strides with trust you forward so there's a strategy on winning this uh, event especially the sprint so we will just have a short discussion and then i will have a activity for you i prepared a word we call it word hand game so in this activity you need to answer or to fill up the missing letter on this box again this activity will enhance your knowledge and understanding on how or in our lesson about the individual sports specifically the track event so for the direction again there are 13 empty boxes so these are 13 empty boxes that you need to fill up okay again this is found in the middle in the uh, middle of the chart so write the missing letter in column 8 to complete the words related to athletics. So you have 13 answers here. So I will just give some uh, guide or sample here. For example, again, there are 13 empty boxes. You need to fill it out. And then you need to identify the words. For example, I'll just give you one in the top. The missing word or letter here is letter E. And then we will have the word athletics. So again, what you are going to do is to write this um, chart in your band paper. And then you need to fill up the missing letter. And then encircle the words. Okay, so you have 12 remaining empty boxes here. So the perfect score is 12 points. Okay, so if, do you have any questions? If you have any questions or further clarifications, just drop it down in our group chat. Bye-bye.